So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. More specifically, what we have here is a table. In fact, it's an XY table. So we have our X values in the first row. We have our Y values in the second row. And of course, each of these pair together to give us like ordered pairs, right? The point 216, the point 321. Uh, could be graphed if we needed to. The question goes on to say the table shows three values of x and their corresponding values of y. Which equation represents the linear relationship between x and y? All right, so what do I care about? I care most about this table. This table is telling me the truth about the correct answer. So what I'm going to do is say, well, if this table tells me that when x equals 1, y should equal 11, then the correct answer has to match that, right? When I replace x with 1, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 6 is 11. That's exactly what I expect to get. But I don't know if that's the right answer yet because there might be other answer choices that do the same thing. For choice B, when I replace x with 1, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 11 is 16, so not 11. Therefore, choice B is gone. Choice C, we can do the exact same thing. Cross out that x and put a 1. 6 times 1 is 6 plus 5 is 11. So choice C is a possibility. And then for choice D, 6 times 1 is 6 plus 11 is 17. So not 11. So choice D is gone. So we're down. We're left to choices A and C. And now I move on to my next column. So the strategy I'm using here is called plug in information from the question. The question provides the information that I need. And there's, a, there's other ways to solve this, but I do think this might be one of the faster ways. So now let's look at, well, what happens when x equals 2? So again, knowing that I only have choices A and C left over, I'm going to erase the work from before, and say, well, if x were 2, then 5 times 2 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. That's exactly what I want. And if, six were, if x were 2 here... 6 times 2 is 12, and 12 plus 5 is 17, which is not what I want, right? So, so it should not equal to 16. So that means choice C is gone, and the only answer remaining is choice A, which makes choice A the correct answer. Now, we could, of course, also think about this from a Y equals MX plus B format. We know that we have a linear relationship where we can solve for M by using Y2 minus Y1, over x2 minus x1, meaning I'm just going to choose you know, a y value, let's call it 21, subtract the next y value next to it, 16, do the same thing for my x values, 3 minus 2, so I get a slope here that is 21 minus 16 is 5, over 3 minus 2 is 1, so just 5, so m equals 5, so now I know that my equation is y equals 5x plus b, now to find b, I just need to replace X and Y with an ordered pair from the table again. So I'm still using the table quite a bit. Um, here, I'm going to I'm going to use I'm going to use this second one here. So I'm going to say, well, when X is two, or let's, let's go down here. When X is two, Y is sixteen. So I should have sixteen instead of Y equals five times two plus B, and therefore I get sixteen equals ten plus B. I subtract ten from both sides and I get 6 equals b. I now know that m is 5, that 6 is b, and therefore my equation, instead of y equals mx plus b, is y equals 5x plus 6. So that would be another way to solve this as well, right? Both of those ways lead to choice a being the correct answer.